Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here of Final Fantasy X. I am starting to work on this now because I finished my last few episodes of Star Wars, so let's get started here now with Final Fantasy X. Where am I? I forgive you this time. Be good for a while, okay? So shortly we are going to get into a uh, random encounter because we don't have our party with us for now as you can see. Um, if we, if you have poison touch on, which I don't, I never created it for Titus, because I gave it to a different character. But if you have if you have like 99 antidotes, you can customize a poison touch and create one for uh, Titus to take out the bird really quick here. But but yeah, come back to the safe sphere here because uh, I didn't grab this last episode since I was gonna, because I want I wanted to do everything this episode. So grab this chest here. This is gonna get you a uh, remedy times four. Now let's just uh, continue all the way uh, straight down because we should be getting a random encounter with the bird now, which is called the zoo. Yeah, it's called the zoo. Okay, so I don't have poison touch on uh, Tito. I have first strike on though, but we can also delay its attack, which is going to help. So let's do that. Another another thing we can do, guys, is I uh, haste ourselves. So let's go ahead and do that, and then I'll see if I can cast slow next. Need some help. Yeah, definitely. And I am going to cast slow on the bird here. Hopefully it takes effect. Yep, it looks like it took effect. Okay, so that's perfect. Let's start by using power break with Orin. 405. Are you alright? And Lulu makes her way into battle. I'm going to start with a delay attack. And another one. Okay, so with Lulu, let's cast thunder on the bird. See how much damage this will do. 1027, not too bad. Well, let's just keep attacking it then until it, uh, it's dead pretty much all we can do. Just keep using delay attack and um, I'll use thunder with Lulu and another delay attack. And I'll just attack with Orin here. Delay attack. If you just keep doing this it's also pretty easy to kill it. It just would have been a little bit faster with uh, poison touch. I might speed up Lulu because she is my strongest character right now. I'm gonna throw a high potion at Titus here. Heal him up. Just in case he, I knew his he didn't even do very much damage that time, did he? Oh yeah, because we, we have power break, remember? We used uh, power break, that's why. And this time I'm gonna haste out Lulu because I want Lulu to be faster because she has the most attack power here right now, so... And hopefully, we'll get Waka soon because he has my poison touch. <sighs> the others? <sighs> Haven't found them yet. We're supposed to stay in one place if we get split up. Wait here if you want. He's not. Basically what we're gonna do from here on is just head on straight to that tent right there, because there's Waka. Waka! Mm. You alone? Mm-hmm. Where's Yuna? First I lose Yuna, then I'm ambushed by Machina. Great day I'm having. Okay, so I'm gonna switch out uh, Orin for Waka right now. Make sure to either have Sleep Touch on Waka or Poison Touch. I'm gonna put Poison Touch on him right now because I'm still trying to work on my uh, on my weapon here, Dream Team. I'm trying to build. I'm trying to customize this some more. But uh, I need to get more items though. So okay, so let's get this right here. So this is an L bed first aid kit, a first aid kit placed by the L bed to aid desert travelers. And there it is, L bed potion times eight. Those are actually really good. See, here's what the L bed potion. I think I explained this earlier before, but it cures poison, silence, and petrification, and also gives 1,000 HP. So basically, it's a fucking souped up high potion. That's basically what it is. So there's nothing else here. Let's just go on to the next area here, because we're gonna get another party party member back. Hey, there he is, right there, to, to our right side, in fact. So let's go ahead and talk to Kamari here. You not gone. It's not your fault, Kamari. Okay, Kamari is actually going to be a very a nice uh, party member because we have steel for for him. Remember, and he's going to steal from these guys, which insta kills them. So let me switch out to uh, Titus for Kamari really quick, and we're going to steal. And they're dead. We stole two grenades, and guess what? Steal again. And two grenades, and they're dead. There you go. 
Easy. So get Kamari to steal from those Machinas. I think their rare drop is an Elbed Potion too, which obviously we could use a lot more of, so... If you want, you can probably fill up on 99 of them, and but you also get grenades from them, which are, which are obviously very useful too, because we need lots of grenades. Okay, let me switch out walking here for Titus, and hopefully kill this guy. Oh no, but we can probably kill this guy with uh, Lulu. Nice. Shit, man, Titus is dead. Okay, I'm gonna revive uh, Titus here. And I think these guys should be weak to Blizzard, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me see here. Let me try and steal from him. What does he have? Silver Hourglass. Those are good to steal, too. I think if I take this guy out, we should have an easier time. So let me see here. One more hit, I think. Perfect. Oh, he doesn't have that much HP anyway. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Also, while I'm gaining like some spheres, I'm going to start putting them into my characters here. But uh, I won't, uh, I'm not going to show my grid for everybody because I don't have that many. That many. I'm just going to keep going around and putting spheres in the characters in the same circle that I showed you guys last time. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to keep running this way to find Riku. Let me haste up a Lulu here. I'll start by casting Fire Let me see what this thing's weakness is. That didn't do much, but... Steal? Shadow gem times two. Okay, so make sure to steal from this guy. Because we need those. Can I slow it down? I'm gonna test here if I can see if I can slow Relax, it. Take it easy. Immune. Okay, so he's immune to slow, so just stick stick to haste. Let's cast thunder on it. Okay, that did a lot more damage. So he might be weak to thunder. I'm gonna keep stealing with Kamari here. But first I wanna see if he's weak to delay attack. Nope, he's not weak to it. Okay, that's good. Thunder. And Thundera. Come on, Kamari, steal more! Yes, good job, Kamari. And we'll go Thundera again. I might- oh shit, I was gonna switch out Titus, but... No, he ate Lulu- Well, that's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Let's call Orin in here and let's uh, power break him. Okay, I'm gonna have to poison this guy. Hopefully he's, uh, hopefully we're able to poison him, let's see. He's not immune! Okay, he's not immune to poison, so get Waka's poison touch to poison him. And I'll see if I can steal from him. Oh, damn. He's gonna throw Lulu back up. Can I put him to sleep as well? It didn't say immune, right? Okay, so poison him and put him to sleep. That's what I recommend doing for this guy. And then I'll see if I can steal. Come on, Kamari. Come on, you're letting me down, buddy. Level 7. Alright, now I don't want to attack with Waka here. I want to get Titus back in here. And I want to re-haste uh, Lulu again. See if I can steal. Yes! Good job, Thundera. Remember, Thunder, remember, magic does not wake up enemies. Only physical attacks do. So, all we want to do is cast magic on it. I'm going to scan him while he's uh, sleeping and stuff. Okay, so he's weak to water and blizzard. And he has uh, 45,000 HP, but right now he has uh, 21,000 left. And plus he's poisoned, so that's doing damage as well. Okay, so let me share. And this time, I know he's weak to wa to blizzard and water, so what I'm going to cast blizzard on him. There we go, much better. If he does wake up, remember to just uh, bring Waka back in and cast sleep attack again. Because he just woke up now, but he's almost dead now though, so... I'm going to attack of Titus here. 609. And he's dead. So, poison, sleep, and darkness. Those are the three uh, negative status effects that you want to set on the boss. And I'm going to keep proceeding forward here. Should be running to the next screen. There, there's Riku plus a safe sphere. Oh. Hey guys! Where's Uni? Gone. Gone. Some guardian I am. Um... There's something I want to tell you, but promise not to say anything? Hmm? No glaring either. I know where we are. We're on Bicanel Island. There's a place us Albed call home near here. Uni's there, I'm sure of it. Other Albed must have come and rescued her. Rescued? You mean kidnapped? What does it matter as long as she's safe? That's right. Anyway, I will take you there if you promise that you won't tell anyone about it. Especially not Yevonites, okay? You know they don't like us all bad. Who knows what they'll do if they knew? Give me a break. What are you accusing Yevon of this time? Yevon did something really bad to us before. 
Well, you Albed must have deserved it. Ugh. Can't you guys talk about this later? Just promise you won't tell anyone about this island. Promise? Waka, come on! All right, I promise. Lead the way. You got it. All right, so before we head any further, let's grab this. Ether times two. Let's grab this. I'll bet potion times eight, and let's save our game. Okay, so let's continue this way, and let's just follow Riku here. So I showed you guys this already, so let's see what we can get here. Let me just take out um, Tidus for Kamari. Grenade times two. Come on. I know they have a rare item, don't they? Grenade times two. I am going to flee battle now. I just pretty much only want those Malkanas. Actually, maybe not. Because I still need Shadow Gems, so... I might steal from those Sandworms still. High Potion times four. Yeah, I'll get in more battles. Just because I need more Shadow Gems and stuff. So let me see what these, uh, these birds have. Smoke Bombs! Hey! There is something new. That we don't have yet. So we can, let's steal lots of those. What does this sandwolf have? Sleeping powder. Okay, so smoke bombs and sleeping powder. You guys can stock up on that stuff too. No problem. I just want to steal smoke bombs right now. Because I don't have very many of those. So I'm just going to steal and kill these guys and I'll see you guys in, this, in a minute. By the way, you do get Albed potions as drops in this area a lot. So it's good to farm here. Okay, so let's see what's in the next screen here. Uh, let's continue all the way down. We should be finding another chest soon. Ah, it's all the way down here. Don't you run, needles! Oh boy. Let's see what these guys have to steal first. I'm gonna haste somebody. Pr pr I'm gonna haste Riku because I know she's like one of the fastest characters. So let's see what they have. Chocobo feather. Okay, so steal those guys. Chocobo feathers. Once you guys kill those cat you can get 8,000 AP. Remember to use uh, Riku and Kamari's use ability and use items that deal flat damage to kill them quicker. So there's a high potion times four from there. So once you get the high potion times four from that chest here, run all the way over here and right behind this cliff here is gonna be another chest for X potion times two. All the way down, run all the way down to this corner here, the northwest corner, and get the mega potion times two. Okay, so run all the way back here now, all the way to the save, and let's save our game here. So right beside that save is a chest here. That's an Albed Potion times 8. Once you get this chest, let's proceed down here. We don't want to go too far ahead though, we don't want to go to the next scene. We just want to grab that, the Albed Primer. Okay, so back at the safe sphere here, we had the Albed Primer that we just picked up, but we have to get one here as well. That was the Elixir. Okay, go right up here and grab all these chests here, that's level 2 key sphere. That's 10,000 Gale. There it is, right there. Albed Primer. So if you guys check your Albed Primers, you'll see we have every single Al Albed Primer right now. And now let's just proceed all the way up to the next scene here. Okay, so when you guys enter this uh, part of the desert, this is the West Desert now. We're just going to keep going all the way up. You're going to see treasure in this in the uh, pits here. And they're guarded by enemies, but we do, we do want to grab the uh, chest because it, for 100% walkthrough, I want to show you guys what the items are. So... I'm going to battle the enemies in them. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already learned everything from these guys, so... There's Remedy times 2 if you guys want to steal it. Let me cast Fyra. I'm going to switch out Kamari now for Waka. Let me use Titus to haste up Lulu. And Lulu should annihilate it with Fyra. I don't think this thing has that much HP. Hopefully I can poison it, make it just a little bit faster. His seed burst attack seems to be pretty effective at confusing the enemy though. At confusing us though. Oh my god, we have two guys confused. Can sleep attack work maybe? Well, I poisoned it though at least. Let's delay attack. And Lulu's definitely gonna be able to finish this thing off. So let's just go fire up. Sleep attack? I think I'm just gonna keep using sleep attack on it. Because not only can you uh, possibly put it to sleep, but you also the poison effect from his ball still still works, so you might as well. So let's grab this item here. Mega Elixir times three. I'm just gonna heal up with potions since I have a lot of them uh, to spare. And let's grab this chest here. All right, so I'm just gonna kill this thing really quick here, guys. Just remember to keep casting sleep attack on this thing, as well as fire up. And let's see what we get. Teleport sphere times two. Okay, so instead of going up, let me go to the left side here and see what's up. Ah, here we go. We have a chest. Let's grab that. 
X potion times two. Let me go down here. Uh huh. Another chest. Mega potion times three. Th yeah, those mega potion times three. And another chest. High potion times eight. Is there another one? Ah, look at that. Let's get it. Probably guarded, right? Mercury crest. Oh, that one wasn't guarded. And that's actually a special item. A celestial token fashion in the shape of Mercury. Required for a Ultima weapon. One of the Ultima weapons. As you can see, we also have Moon Crest, Mars Crest, so we have a few of these crests now. Alright guys, so all that's left is to follow that red arrow, but before we do, we have obviously one more encounter, so let's go ahead and kill this thing. So before we go to the next area, guys, um, you guys can go back and save your game and start stealing from all the monsters in, the, in this desert if you guys want more items. Over here! Ah! Riku! What? Yuna's down there! Of all the places. Let's go! Yuna! Kayaku! Who? Who's attacking us? Protect Drektui! Heaven! Kayaku? Kayaku! A war between Yevon and the Albed? Gygek Fanuk! <laughs> you reach you friends? Well, just don't stand there. Come on! Let's go kick those guano out of our hole! Who? Sid. Leader of the Albed. He's my dad. Let's go! Yeah. We have to save Yuni. Not only Yuna, right? Right. Okay, so before I end the video, I'm actually going to finish the grid for all my characters and I'll show you each character's grid once they're, once I'm done. Okay, so this is uh, Titus's grid. I now have Slow Gutler for him. Okay, so I just finished Waka's grid here. Okay, so with Lulu here, I just learned Bile. So that's another good black magic spell. It poisons the enemies, I believe. Now with Lulu, I'm just going to continue the grid and just get these, uh, these fears here and then I'm done with Lulu. This right here is uh, Riku's grid right now. And this is Kamari's grid. She, Kamari is basically on the same path as uh, Riku right now, but a little bit further behind. I just finished Orin, he learned HP and Strength. And that's all for the characters for now. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.